guys, so basic Brit here. Today I'm gonna be doing uh, the time I. I don't know why I did that. Um, anyways, ignore my hair because it's really gross today, and I don't really feel like doing anything with it, so I just put it up on a ponytail. So we're not gonna think about it. Anyways, the time I. Today I'm gonna do a video on the time I moved to LA. And I don't know if you can hear the sirens, but what a perfect representation of where I live. So yeah, let's just go ahead and start from the beginning. And so when I had just graduated my senior year, I wasn't really sure like what I was going to be doing. I was like planning on doing like online classes, but I didn't know what I was going to be majoring in. I didn't know what I wanted to do with my life. I was literally the most confused teenager ever like i had no clue what i wanted to do at all like i literally had no idea i was so like um, i knew that i wanted to like act but there was really no resources for that in west virginia there wasn't really anything there that could help me get to where i wanted to go so i kind of was just like putting that in the back of my mind and wasn't really going to think about it because i didn't think that that was really possible to ever you know do anything with that I was babysitting that summer. I had gotten a job as like a nanny, but you know when you're really just a babysitter. So I was babysitting these two kids and I took them to the pool usually like every single day because they had a membership and they had like this cool thing that was like a babysitter pass where your babysitter could take you to the pool. So I did that. Um, and I usually just kind of sat out and like watched them and made sure that they were cool and they would play with their friends or whatever. And so one day I was um, sitting there like watching them and then the radio was on, uh, the mu like the radio was playing at the pool and like I heard like an announcement and it was like, have you ever wanted to like be on Disney Channel? And I'm thinking like, oh, like, yeah, kind of. And it was like, have you ever wanted to be like Taylor Swift? And I'm like, oh man, like I love her. Yeah, totally. And then they like gave a number to call and they were like, you can be like a star today. And I was like, okay, like. I'm not gonna call right now because I don't know this kind of sounds sketchy but um all right so I set wrote the number down and I saved it and then like after I got home I went and talked to my mom and I was like mom like this radio thing was saying to like call because like they were gonna make you a Disney Channel star like I don't know and she was like okay well let's call so we called and we set up an audition and we went to the audition and um, I got a call back that day and then I went back and then like I got accepted into the program and I did like all these workshops and um, then I did a performance it's called a showcase and they had an agent come out and watch us and there were like 15 of us or something that like were in the showcase and the agent watched us and she chose two of us and it was me and like one other guy so I was like, I like want to move to California because she told us that if we wanted to work with her, we would have to move to California. And so me and my mom like actually made plans because things were going on and like we were like, you know, there's nothing really else to do. Like, I don't even want to go to college here. Like, I don't even want to be here. My mom was like, yeah, like, why don't we just move to California? So like we did because we were like, what else? What else is there to do? Like, there was no future there for me. There was nothing there that like I wanted to do career wise, everything like kind of there was holding me back from like the creativity that I wanted to be involved in. I didn't have a whole lot of friends there. It was just kind of like, I wasn't really gonna be missing much. Like my only like really, really close, really close friend, um, like moved to Ohio right before that. And like she was in college away. And so like, I was pretty bummed anyways, cause most of the time I was just like alone. So we decided to move and then we came to Los Angeles um, and we did meet up with that agent. I'm not with them anymore, like nothing bad towards them. I just kind of like took a break from the whole acting thing. I've been more focusing on like writing now, which um, I do like to write like a bunch of different kind of things, I guess. Like I, I wrote a web series. I'll actually leave the link for that profile in um the description so if you guys ever want to watch it like you're more than welcome to of course I wrote a book um, I've written like some short films I've written some like I've written some different things I really I'm trying to focus more on that right now um, but I do like acting too it is something that I really enjoy like I, I like writing I like acting I like singing but I am really into all of those aspects of like the arts so yeah that's kind of like 
the story of the time I moved to LA. It was just basically like, I went out on a limb, did an audition, and like, it worked, and yeah. So I hope this story is kind of inspirational to like anybody else that's ever wanted to do anything like that, that it can happen, and like you, you can, if you've ever wanted to like go somewhere else, you can totally do it. Like don't let people tell you like, oh no, you'll never make it out there. There were so many people that were telling me oh, you're only gonna be out there for like a few months and then you're gonna come back. And I was like, you saying that to me is literally what's going to make me stay out there. Like, I'm not coming back. Like, I am not moving back. I don't wanna move back. Um, I've had people ask me that all the time. Like, oh, do you ever wanna move back? And I never really want to move back. I definitely like, I love my visits. I love getting to go. There's a time when like this, all of everything here, being an adult, having responsibilities and like trying to work on a career just kind of gets too much and you need to go get away from it and going there is like the best thing because I can just be a kid I feel like I can just kind of be a, a child for two weeks and like just be with my family and like just let them you know take care of me and like I just feel loved by them and I just feel like enveloped and like taken care of and wrapped in love and it's like great and like so I really do love getting to go back but I just don't think I could live there because it's just not I just don't fit there if that makes sense which is totally fine you know because there are so many people that belong there and that fit there and then I feel like Los Angeles is kind of almost like the island of misfit toys where people from all over the country or even all over the world people who don't belong where they are at or where they were born or wherever they're currently located they'll come here and we accept them because we all know how it feels like to not fit in and to like be the weird person and the person that like no one really liked and that's that's fine like you know that's why we're here now and like we're happier here and everybody gets that chance to be who they are inside and it's it's great like that's why I like being here so yeah that's my video for today um, <laughs> I really hope that you guys enjoyed it um, leave some comments below let me know like if you know you've ever thought about wanting to move somewhere and if you thought that would be crazy to even like imagine getting to do that <laughs> give this video a thumbs up if you liked it share it around I don't know <laughs> but yeah that's all I really have to say that was the time I bye guys